hello viewers i hope you are fine and uh, i would like to welcome you the, to in this course which is linux in a nutshell and uh, at the last class at the last video we have discussed about the theoretical part of linux uh, in this video we are going to learn about the command line interface how we can use commands in linux and um, what kind of commands are out there how we can use it and uh, where we can use it simple so uh, as i told you in the last class we have learned uh, we are we have learned about uh, the shell shell is nothing but a uh, what a interactive mode where we can put some commands that command executes and give us the output okay in uh, linux we have terminal which is known as shell okay so how we can open the terminal in linux so, so first of all you just need to go here which is show application and here you need to type the terminal so i just type the terminal and i just click here and it will open for me this terminal okay the other in the short matter of that if you are using pc then you need to just type control alter t it will also give you this kind of terminal at your screen I hope it makes sense so now we are going to use some commands here so first command I would like to tell you is the uptime command okay I just type the up command and press enter it will showing me the uptime of my system which is 36 minute and the one user it is logged in and the load time of my average load of time of my system okay now suppose if you know a command but you don't know what command actually does then there's problem for you okay actually that is not problem for you Linux have uh, Linux has a variety of solution for that so I'm typing here um, uh, first of all I don't know what uptime does so I have a command which is info which provide which gives me the information about the command which is I passed after the info like uh, I just want to get know that what uptime does I type info first and then I type uptime Back actually info gives me the information about this kind of command because uptime is a command which is predefined keep in your mind okay it is a command which is the already in built-in in Linux okay I just press enter okay now you can see here we have a lot of a uh, lot of description about this command the uptime prints the system time and the load okay all those stuff okay so how I knew it it worked because the info okay I just need to back I just type control Z which is stop this command and I just head back into my terminal okay uh, now one way of getting no is come and uh, getting no any command just type before the command info okay now I type info uh, some random word okay just press enter it will not give me any kind of information because that word is not a predefined in Linux keep in your mind man or oh, the second uh, the first one the uptime we got because it was predefined okay keep in your mind it will only work for you when the command or a reserve keyword will be uh, built in in Linux okay now uh, the another way to get know about any command if I want to know what up command does I don't know up, up command what what is up command uptime so I just type uptime dash dash help that also meet the uh, that also give me the help of this command which is showing me that the uptime is a command which is the uh, and these are the flags okay that will show me the flags and now what is the flag let me show you another command which is the unim okay now what unim is does unim i don't know what is what is unim i uh, what unim does so i type uh, first command is uh, i type unim dash dash help so i just press enter and that it will show me the description the per, uh, print certain system information okay or um, there are the flags okay we have a flag for r s flag for kernel n flag for 
uh, node name are for your kernel release, kernel version, machine process, etc. Okay, so I just type here new name, press enter, it will give me the my respected or operating system name. If I want to get to know about why what kernel I'm using, so I type u name dash s, I guess. Okay press enter it will also give me the um, kernel name I'm using the kernel and I, I also type the s name dash r which give me the kernel release what is the kernel release I'm using currently I'm using the 5.30 dash 53 generic if I these are the flag flags are nothing but it will give you the additional information about the command it will provide you ex uh, um, more execution okay extra execution I would say that okay now I just type the unam dash SRV so S will give me the kernel name R will give me the release kernel release and V will give me the kernel version I just press enter and now you can see that it will give me the whole information about this stuff I have another flag which is the dash A which give me the all stuff okay now you can see that is give me the all flag stuff here okay a give me the all stuff so now proceeding further now I just want now my screen is full of commands I cannot write uh, I cannot write easily another command so I can just make it clear so clear what clear does clear just clear your terminal not your screen okay it will just clear your screen at the time but if you scroll up you will see this command are still active okay so now what we can do I just want to get know where I'm currently standing which directory I'm currently standing so I just type PWD press enter now I am home ensure G okay if I want to go to another directory I would like to use I would have to use the CD command which is the uh, change directory and this symbol I also told you about this symbol is known as the root if I press CD slash uh, forward slash it will bring me to root directory now still again I type PWD I'm standing right now at the root directory alright so uh, now I would like to tell you about the user now this I th currently what uh, uh, what user it is it is Shurjil okay now Shurjil has some limitations Shurjil cannot do all the stuff in this Linux world there is a super user which is known as the root user use your root user has the accessibility of all this stuff it can uh, perform all this stuff but Shurjil has limitation so I cannot do a lot of things with Shurjil then I need to switch my user to uh, to root user suppose I just type here docker uh, version okay I just press here now you are here to seeing that I'm getting an error what getting an error I'm getting an error here permission denied I cannot go this directory so here I can just type a command which is sudo so what sudo does sudo give me the additional power it give me the powers like a like a CM like a prime minister like and I can do everything in this stuff okay most probably a lot of thing I can do so I just type the sudo and then I type docker version okay after sudo it will uh, it will take you it, it, it will take your password so you need to type your own password just press enter now now I'm not getting any error just because of I use this sudo sudo is a super user okay it will give you a super user all right I hope it makes sense to you where you are uh, whenever you get stuck you just need to type this sudo for permission denied error okay now here I'm just going to change my super change into my super user and uh, I'm going to go in the root user su means the I'm going to use the super user r o double t root here I need to type a password just I typing the password so here I'm getting an error because I'm getting an error because the root does not have any password yet so I cannot access directly to the root user but I have another way which is a sudo minus i so I just press enter now I'm the 
root user in here I can perform all the root stuff which we are going to look at forward forwards okay if I want to uh, just come back where I was standing I just need to type the exit okay now again I'm my the root directory so friend it was our first part of the command line interface uh, I will catch you in the next upcoming command line interface lecture till then uh, if you have any kind of question regarding these command please let me know in your com in the comment box I will highly appreciate your comments till then take care of yourself bye now we are going to use another commands which is the a Mac directory also we can use how we can uh, write uh, how, how can we can uh, we can um, make a file in Linux by using the command line as well as how we can um, uh, copy the file change the directory all this stuff we are going to look at so first uh, I'm going to switch my current directory to be my desktop so now here I'm typing the PWT which shows me my present working directory now I am in here in Shergil user uh, user Shergil okay now I type here ls ls tells you the list of all the elements okay all the stuff which is in the directory so I type ls so here we have the sub directories of the Shergil which is the uh, docker slide downloads chrome etc I I need to switch right now an, uh, another directory which is the desktop directory so how I can go to the desktop so simple I have a command which is the CD CD means change directory so I press CD and the directory name and also notice uh, please make sure that the spell should be same what it is okay you need to take care of spelling as well so I type the CD desktop now we I'm in desktop directory here again I type ls but here wait I already type ls so I do not need to type ls again and again I have a comma I have a tool uh, which is my up arrow key I press my up arrow key it will shows me the recent command I have used so up I pressed up arrow key twice so I got this ls okay if you want to use the recent commands which you have press enter you need to just use the up uh, arrow function okay arrow key simple okay just press enter it will show you that we have three directories now here I'm going to make a directory which is uh, which will be the test one so okay so what is mkdir mk stands for mac dir means directory I press enter now again I type again I use uh, L, uh, my up, and, uh, up arrow key for my recent commands and there is ls I press enter so I got here the directory which is test okay alright so now I want to go inside this test directory simple I type cd test okay I press enter now I am cd directory again I type ls so there is no kind of such directory so that's why uh, we our terminal is blank okay so um, now here I'm going to make a file so how we can make a file we, we can make a file so many uh, we have a ma we can make a file by using variety of commands but the most common command which is the touch command touch command is used for um, uh, making file okay here I just type touch and here I am just typing the index dot txt okay so index is a file name dots mean extension what kind of file that will be created it will be created a text file because dot txt means that it is the file of text file okay so I just press enter again I type allies so I got this uh, index file over there suppose I need to type something in this so how I can uh, type so I have a, another command before typing it you need to type the echo echo hello world okay hello wrd word so ec what echo command does echo command 
commonly does it will display this hello world on your terminal okay so I just press enter you and you see that the after the echo the hello world showing here so that means that echo just display your uh, text into the terminal suppose I just want to copy this text I just want to copy this text to the in this index.txt file how I can do I can simply type the echo hello wrd word alright and uh, after that I need to just show this arrow sign okay and the paste and after that I need to put my file name which is the index.txt okay I just press enter so I get no error and simply if I want to show what is the text inside this kind of index file I just need to type a command which is the get get display a text display a text inside the file okay here I just fire I just insert the get command and I type the index dot txt now you see that you are still getting the hello world so what cat does cat shows you what is inside the file okay so I hope it makes sense to you and the other command we are going to use that uh, to if I want to go back from this directory one step back so I just type cd dot what cd dot does it will bring you one step okay cd dot dot okay now you see before we were in uh, test folder now we are in desktop folder again I type pwd it will show me that I am at desktop folder okay uh, and if you want to I if I want to go again in desktop I just type desktop okay 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 I got some errors okay I just type cd test because desktop is not a directory yet okay still I am in test if I want to go back to directories two step still uh, I right now I just tried I back one step okay now if I want to try two step back where I'm currently standing so I would type that CD dot dot slash dot dot I just press enter now I see PWD it will show me that I am to directory backward which is surely okay I hope it makes sense to you and um, now we can do a lot of things like um, uh, I can use copy I can use move I can use um, delete method so suppose first of all I need to just copy uh, my index file into another file so first of all I'm going to go to the desktop folder okay okay now right now I'm in a desktop folder right now I'll press ls which shows the list now here I'm going to type uh, I'm going to make another directory which is test2 mac directory test2 okay press enter and just go to the this directory okay now I type ls so test2 sorry not uh, cd dot dot cd test2 which is the blank directory right now just I press um, ls so that is the blank directory let me clear my screen that will show you okay pd pwd here I am the test directory so there is no content in the test directory suppose I want to copy uh, my test directory my test directory to test2 directory so how I can do this so we have the method which is cp what cp does cp actually copy your content copy your file copy your uh, all the stuff you want to do okay I just type the CP and there is two things what is one is the source the other one is destination okay y you need to keep in your mind here you need to type after CD your source file which need to be copy and after that after space you need to type your destination where you want to copy your file okay I hope it makes sense to you so I'm going to uh, copy my file which is um, uh, which w which is like uh, in my test two folder test one folder so here I just typing the power slash which shows the I am starting after the root user here uh, home home slash I'm going to share which is my username after that where this file exists this file exists in desktop so here I just type the desktop and after this the 
after that's what it's nested to the test folder and the file name is the file name uh, the file name is let me just show you the file name which is uh, I, I think it, it is index dot txt okay that is the one di one parameter of copy which what is does it's actually taking the source point okay so text inside of uh, index is inside of test test inside of desktop desktop inside of schedule schedule inside of home on home inside of the root directory so uh, i already told you what is the root directory and how directory are nested in the root so that is the first directory and now we need to give our s destination where we want to copy our file okay so here I again I type the home which it is the after the root and then uh, I just simply what I can do I can use this copy this file here copy this uh, all this stuff here which is the similar and just paste it here simple and let me just elaborate what it is okay this is the source destination okay Th this is the this would be the um, destination where you want to copy your file okay and the what CP does CP is actually copy your file okay just press enter uh, okay now I just type ls boom we got the index.html so how it is CP works okay suppose I just want to delete this file okay delete this index file so I have another command which is rm rm is used for remove and after rm I need to just type the index dot txt the file name okay whatever file name you have you just need to type after the rm and just press enter and again you type ls then you don't have any directory yet okay so again we have some kind of stuff which is move so there what is the difference between move and copy it is similar to the move is quite similar to the cut so what cut does cut in if you are a windows background if you have ever used windows so cut your file cut from source and paste into the uh, paste into the um, destination so uh, but copy means that you are just copying your file it has it is in the same directions uh, like um, it is like so as well as the source as well as the destination but cut it will just cut from the source and paste into the destination so suppose here we, uh, we, we must just want to copy this file rm so sorry mv mv does move okay and here again we need to type just the source destination which is the schedule and here I just type to desktop okay and again I just need to type the test again I need to type the index dot txt now it is taking to the source and it would paste it here after space I just type here and it will paste here I just press enter now if I check here and test 2 I got it index txt again but if I go back okay now I type ls I have the test I go to the test directory in here I cannot have any kind of stuff because I just cut and paste so it is similar like that okay so again I just type cd one step back and suppose you want to delete some folder so how you can do some folder you have two ways to delete this so you can use the rm suppose if your folder is empty okay like uh, as you know that the test folder is empty there is no content in the test folder so I just type rm dir remove directory and the folder name okay press enter now I just type ls so you have see that there is no kind of test folder rm deletes those folders which are empty which do not have any kind of content suppose in our test 2 we have content how we can check this simply I just copy CD test 2 and type ls so here we have the index.txt and I go one step back okay okay now I just want to delete this fo folder test 2 I suppose to do this rmdir test 2 press enter but it will not delete this folder because it's having some kind of content so if a folder having some kind of content 
you need to use like um, rm slash r dash rf okay it will forcefully delete this folder okay and the folder name which is the test 2 press enter now again type ls so you have seen this is file deleted this directory has been deleted that mean if you want to delete a folder or a directory which having some kind of content you need to use rm remove dash rf dash rf flex mean that it forcefully deleted remove forcefully r for uh, forcefully forcefully re r for remove f for forcefully okay so i hope it makes sense to you and uh, i will catch you at the next video okay Till there, keep learning, keep listening, and um, if you have any kind of suggestion, please let me know in your comments. Okay, take care, bye. So here we are going to use another command, which is defined command. Suppose you have a directories of subdirectories, and you want to find a specific file or a specific directory in the directories. So how you can do this? So we have a command which is defined command now before proceeding the find command you need to know that the this symbols mean that the root directory okay whether this symbol the dot is mean that the parent, uh, present working directory so here I just type PWD so I am right now in shared G okay so what would be my present working directory if I use this dot that dot means that this is the my present working directory you have to find afterwards this directory you this is the uh, become the one source okay whether this directory means that the that is the uh, root directory suppose I want to go to the root so I type the cd that root so now I am the root directory suppose I want to come back to the my home directory so I type cd and then I type this tilde operator which is near to the tab okay upside from the tab key and you type ok enter and then you again type the pwd then you are right now this user directory i hope it makes sense to you so let's clear the screen and now we are going to use um, find command so suppose uh, right now uh, where i am is i am sure yields and right now i want to know that where is the index.txt file or text directory okay so suppose I want to find a directory which name is text okay so I have I can use two ways by using two ways first way is the find the actually there is only a one command which will be using from uh, for finding but the source can be very you can use it for your present working directory as well as the root directory but first of all I'm going to you I'm going to show you the present working directory alright so now I just type this dot that dot means that it will search from this directory from this directory which is the home slash or you know the root directory okay alright I hope it makes sense to you so now again I'm going to type my um, again my file name okay so I have to give my file name which I will provide this flag which is the dash name it is nothing but a flag which uh, which executes some ex extra information okay so um, I just type dash name and uh, in here in double quotes I will provide my file name which is the test so it's not a file name basically it is a directory which is located in the desktop I already made it so I just uh, knew it so I just press enter okay I didn't get any uh, any location back so that's mean there's something wrong whether this directory is not present or I have made some kind of mistake so suppose I just going to use this uh, again like um, uh, I think uh, dash name okay and dash name I have to provide the test folder okay spice enter okay I am getting some error which is the test okay so just make it little bit space out here again I'm getting some error so why I'm getting some error I think I have uh, committed some mistakes so let me figure out whether it's uh, file is perfectly not yeah the exe text and I'm typing test so oh, sorry sorry this my 
my blunder my mistake my uh, sorry so the thing is quite similar okay but you need to type text sorry okay now it's fine because uh, the file present in the desktop was test text not test okay so I just type enter now I'm getting this kind of location which means that our file exists okay and uh, if I go to the this folder like um, uh, okay suppose I just go to this folder and I will check this th there is something in this folder or not so I just type that uh, CD uh, right now I'm sure so I'm just going to type um, CD desktop okay and afterwards I'm going to type text okay now right now I'm in text and there is a folder which is the index.txt and I just go back again two step back okay there's too many arguments so I cannot do this right now it's clear to you so right now I'm in desktop right now again I'm go to this directory back I'm in surgery right now okay suppose I want to check uh, the I want to find the file which is the text file not the directory so how I can do this simply I type the find command and after the find command I will show the uh, source so I'm use I just want to use from the present working directory afterwards I will look I will look at this root directory as well but before proceeding the root directory we just need to uh, know about the present working directory so here uh, I have uh, the dot symbol which shows the present working directory and afterwards uh, I just need to type the file name which is which will be uh, which will be the file name which uh, index dot txt before that we just typed the directory now we type the file name I just press enter so now I'm getting the index dot txt all over this directory look Google Chrome Google Chrome Google Chrome here here is the our final directory that is not respected which we we have sent it is a similar name so that's why it's showing on the terminal but that was the respected and the uh, the actual file directory we need to search okay we uh, so I hope it makes sense to you okay the other another way this that which is simply I can provide here a location like uh, home slash shurjil slash uh, desktop as well so I can also provide this location and you see that I got this index or file and if I do not have any kind of location I have just root directory so what I can do I can simply do provide the root directory here and then it will search from the root okay not from the specific directory from the root directory okay now you're seeing that uh, the all of command the permission denied because permission denies come from uh, just because of um, we didn't uh, press this to do so I'm just typing my up key I go to the command I type now I just want to come on the uh, here before the find I just need to type control a which bring me to start of this directory and here I just type sudo as you do if you want to come uh, starting if you want to come start on the f uh, command you just need to type control a I just type enter and I need to type just my password I just press enter so I'm getting this file which is still permanent deny maybe but I got this file okay index or txt in the root so I can use this, uh, root directory as well and as well as the uh, specific directory okay if you know the specific directory you can simply use it if you have a bundle of file okay now proceeding further I just need to clear my okay now suppose I just uh, I want to use some auto completion what is auto completion the command should be completed auto I do not need to command I just type CL and I just type tab after uh, s uh, typing the tab the co command will be auto completed again watch closely CL I didn't type anything now I'm just going to type tab so tab just completing for me auto completion file or auto completion command just press enter now my screen is clear suppose uh, like uh, I need to search a command which is I uh, have or uh, recently uh, most uh, before time I just use it but I don't know this command so I have a tool which is con I think it's not really working so I think I just need to type control control R okay no fucking just leave it I will show you uh, let, uh, at the end of the course so suppose we just want to search something in a text document file in a long document file how we can use it now right now I am Sure, I want to go to the desktop. 
ठीक है ओ राइट सी डी डैश टॉप ओके राइट नाउ आई एम डैश टॉप आई एम इट डैश टॉप एंड आफ्टर इन डैश टॉप वी हैव सम काइंड ऑफ फोल्डर विच इज आई एम गोइंग टू यूज दिस सी डी टैक्स फोल्डर ओके right now i am the text folder in here i just type the cat and the file name i already know which is the index.txt okay so here i have a uh, some kind of dummy text like lorem epsom is nothing but a dummy text so suppose i just want to i have a text right here which is uh, 3000 line 4000 line and i just want to find some simply so how i can use this i can use this grab method okay so what grab does grab just bring this comma or grab just bring for the specific search word for you so i just type the uh, let's say i just need to clear my file first okay i need to type cat which shows the input or which shows the output or on the terminal index dot if you're wonder why i'm using this index suppose i just type ls so i i already made this file so that's why i'm just using this file so i just need to type the cat at index which is we do nothing but shows on the terminal whatever content inside this index file okay just type the extension as well and uh, after that you need to use this pipe operator uh, i would say this is a pipe operator okay uh, it is near to the your enter button and up uh, upside of uh, on the your enter button okay you just need to type plus shift plus this uh, pipe operator okay and then you need to use this grip g r e p grip and after grip you need to provide a specific word suppose i want to search simple simply okay i just type simply i just press enter all right so i got some error so let's me just do this back okay ha uh, simply okay i just type enter so now i just press enter you are uh, now you are able to see that we i have four kind of simple words out there okay Be why this text showing on this terminal just because of this cat and the file name and grape what grape does grape actually highlighting this specific keyword which we have provided here all right now we have another uh, thing to do like i just want to search this lorem which is the starting from here okay l o r e m lorem but what you think that if i press enter it will give me the lorem obviously it will give me the lorem but the thing will change like this okay i just press enter but i didn't get any text right now why look there is two reason whether this lorem is not present in this text but as we can able to see this this lorem is present but we are not getting this lorem because it is the cat sensitive okay we need to provide as as spelling words as it is okay so what we can do we have a flag which is the minus i after grep i provide the minus i and space what it does it will erase the case sensitivity okay i just press enter or now before uh, just using this minus i it erase the all case sensitivity and i am getting this lorem i hope it makes sense to you okay so again i'm just going to clear my terminal and now i'm going to use some kind of commands which uh, give you the uh, hardware level um, uh, what i can say that information like i just need to search what kind of processor i'm using so i have a command which is lscpu okay so lscpu i just press enter okay okay uh, i have spelled some wrong command ls cpu just press enter now i'm getting the architecture what kind of architecture i'm using what how many cpus are out there the cores all the stuff all the hardware related concept i'm getting here which provides me ls cpu commands what does it provides me the uh, cpu uh, uh, specification so r r r we have another command suppose i don't know like uh, i know that the info command give me the information the main command give me the manual online uh, about the command and the help as well help command there is a help as well but there is an other command which provide you a short description what is actually what is okay so here i just type what is and after that i just type lscp lscpu okay 
ls cpu now it's fine so what is command actually what is command tells you the short description of this command so this is the parameter like a second command and we are providing afterwards this command so i just press enter so now i'm getting this kind of short description here which is that displays the information about the CPU architecture so still I can use this info command as well like ls cpu okay and again I can use uh, like um, uh, man ls cpu ls cpu alright again I can use um, uh, ls cpu dash help dash dash help alright I hope it makes sense to you and now I just no, don't need to exit I need to just clear my screen uh, let me just clear ok right so now I got it the ls cpu as, as well as the uh, what is command now suppose I just want to know about the how many disk is free on my hard drive just type df command which shows me the description which shows me the how many types of uh, how many uh, space we have but there's a problem what is the problem I, we cannot calculate all this stuff okay we cannot calculate the use stuff the available stuff so uh, we have another thing which is df du df minus h so minus h is a flag which is human readable okay I just type enter now I can able to see I can able to read all this stuff because dash h command which converts this numbers into the human readable okay if you are not getting something really clear to you uh, you can always use this uh, flag minus h will that will be convert all the text to human readable form all right so l right now we have some another command which is the type command okay suppose i just need to clear my screens first okay suppose i have a vlc i have uh, any kind of stuff in my this desktop uh, this laptop and I just want to uh, search this where is the binary file of uh, where is the file of this command so I just type the v uh, type vlc sorry type vlc now I'm just getting the binary file of the executed file here I have the vlc so that's why I'm getting the type so what is type I just provide here so nothing appropriate oh, okay 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 because I'm not getting this uh, command so type is nothing type uh, dash help you don't know all the commands all over the time but uh, if you know how to use it smartly so you can use alright so display the information about the command type okay so um, uh, right now it will show you display the R location of the container executable file where your executable file like you are if you have a windows background that you have dot exe file which executes so it provides you the executable file where is your executable file located so I type uh, type dot uh, uh, vlc it will show me the executable vlc file which is this directory slash uh, root slash user slash bin slash vlc I hope it we are going to look at some more commands uh, like uh, now we are I'm going to show you how we can make a link okay between files like uh, uh, we are using in Windows like we just uh, make a link of a folder of a directory to the uh, on our desktop so we can easily access this, uh, those directory so how we can make uh, those kind of links in Linux so it is quite easy in Linux like you need to just type ln command which is the link command and minus s is a flag okay dash s so let me just make this here. yeah now it's fine so ln minus s it's a f it's used for making links okay afterwards you need to type the source and the destination source mean that where what kind of file you want to link and where you want to link th that file so I'm providing uh, I'm just making a link of my desktop uh, folder file which is the index.txt which is the sub folder which is the in folder of text but I want to show this file on my desktop okay so first of all I need to show you something which is uh, I think I need to show you my desktop so I just move to my desktop uh, like now I am where I am standing right now I am standing in Churchill so um, I would say that desktop okay 
now I'm desktop and I press ls for list so you can see there is four subdirectory and the directory is the a1 directory is text so I just move in this te text directory right and in this text text directory we have two files okay and uh, I just need to make this file here right here on my desktop so how I can make this it's quite simple like um, if I go to back directory okay all right it's fine okay now I uh, just need to clear my screen and now I'm just using ln ls ln for link and minus s and first of all I need to provide my source so this is file uh, this file is in my and desktop folder so simply I can provide a full absolute uh, uh, absolute part okay so home and uh, username and uh, after username the uh, directory uh, all right and after that I need to provide uh, what kind of file I want to copy so my file name was the index.txt simple and now I'm I need to provide the that is my, that is used for link and that is used for source where the file is coming and okay and uh, that's where this file is going okay so now I just need to type uh, this destination which would be home uh, Shergil which is the username and the desktop I want to make link here on desktop okay I just press enter I got my terminal back and I now I just type ls so you can see here we have some text file over here if I minimize my terminal and I will show you so we got a file from here alright so this is how we can make a, uh, a link file okay I hope it makes sense to you and now we are going to make some kind of uh, alias so now I'm g discussing about the alias what is alias alias is nothing but a short command suppose if you are writing so large commands by over the time and time you want to just make your own commands okay uh, so you can make it by using the alias alias is nothing but a method but a, uh, but, but a, way, but a way to make your own commands to your precise command like uh, I have a command which is uh, type and uh, I would say that type bin okay it will show me the bin address oh sorry uh, sorry it will not bin it will it will be bash so that type is showing me the bash instead of typing the type I can make an alias okay alias and after that I need to provide the command name which I want to convert my own command so I just provided the type okay which is the command name and the word which I want to use okay sorry so first of all alias t, t, t alias t is a t is nothing but a variable which holding the type command okay so I just typing the alias t is equal to type that's mean the t has the all property which is the type property I just press enter I got it so now instead of typing the t I can use this t as well like t ben I'm sorry not t ben it's t bash so I'm getting the same stuff which I get uh, got over here so that's some making an alias suppose I want to cancel this alias so I have uh, another command which is an alias which make the an alias okay uh, an alias t I press enter now I press t bash nothing is happened because t is not a command okay and keep in your mind if you make any kind of alias okay it will only be happen by using this terminal like here I again type t bash okay it's giving me the path but suppose I just cancel my terminal okay and I just reopen my terminal now I just type uh, t bash I'm not getting any command right now because it's only work when the terminal is up and running after the terminal has closed it will not work for you so keep in your mind alias only work when terminal is on alright uh, 
till there we have learned about the ln and uh, ln minus s alias and alias values in command so, so far so good Aja, now we are mm, using the another command which is the dd command dd command is a command which used to convert text okay suppose I just clear my terminal I just saying this dd uh, dd is a command for converting the text okay so I just uh, use dd and c o n v so c on v means that convert and after the c o v in convert we press the equal and we provide the u case if we want to convert the upper case we provide the u case if we want to convert it to lower case we provide lower case l case alright so i want to convert a string which is in lower case into the upper case so i provide the dd convert u case after press enter alright here i am type a text hi this is Mr. Programmer, alright, and now after the completion of the string, I need to type Control D twice. Okay, after the uh, pressing Control D twice two times, so I convert uh, this text will would be converted into the uh, uh, text uh, in con converted to be uppercase. Okay. So I just press Control D, Control D. So now here you can see this: the text is converted into the uppercase. All right, it's a simple use case of it. So suppose now we have two, one, we have a one file, and we want to convert that file into the uppercase. Okay, we have a file which has a, some kind of text content, which is a cap, uh, not a capital letter, a small letter, but we want to convert into the capital letter as well as the file so how we can use it so first of all uh, where I'm currently I'm standing where okay I'm standing in the I'm gonna go to my desktop and do go to those directory uh, text all right uh, this is not text there is text all right now here I'm in text and suppose first of all I'm just want to delete this caps rm remove caps dot txt all right now we have only one file which is the index file all right so sub now I in this file I, I want to see what kind of text that file has so I just type index cat dot index cat index dot txt now this is the lorem epsom and it is the small case suppose I want to convert into this text into caps caps okay so how I can use it so simply what I can do I can make a copy for this I can make a copy for that and um, convert this text into the upper case so how I can do so simply I just need to provide DD which is the conversion okay so after that I, I, I need to provide the input file so I need to type I for input F for file is equal to here I provide the file name which is the index.html because here I am standing in the my current directory so uh, if suppose I'm standing the another directory so I, I need to provide the whole path okay Just keep in your mind so after that uh, I type input file and which file it will be show it will be converted I type output file O for out f for file and after that I need to provide the file name which is the caps.txt okay and after that I need to provide the conversion type so I want to convert this whole text this index whole text into the caps text so uh, I need to type that u case alright so I just press enter okay so now I just need to check my file I have now two file and I want to just um, check but whether it's worked or not so I just type get dot caps dot txt press enter now you can able to see that whole text is in a capital text so I hope it makes sense to you so now now for, um, for, for going further now we have uh, another command which is the pipe separator command which is more and less so what is more and less so um, let me just go to the uh, uh, root directory and here I ha I just need to type a command which is ls minus r okay when I type this command I press enter you are able to see that the whole th uh, terminal is going down 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 nothing is stopped so I just need to cancel this command okay so what I can do is that kind of uh, situation I can make pagination okay I can make some kind of page I can go up and I can go down 
regarding my wish okay so how I can do this so sub first of all I need to just clear a screen uh, there is two type of page separation okay pagination one is uh, more the other one is less so first of all we are going to uh, look at what is more so ls minus r caps okay so I need to provide a pipe operator and after pipe operator I need to provide a more okay and when I provided a more I press enter now here I can use a some kind of pagination and press enter 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 as long as I want to go I can I am able to go okay but if you can if I just press the uh, up arrow key down arrow key it is not working so it it only makes some kind of pagination for you but you can no go not go able to go up and down up and down for that okay you need to provide another command which is less less also makes some pagination for you as well as you can use up and arrow key operator now you can able to see I'm going to down I'm going to up okay so that is the difference between the pagination between more and less more just makes some pagination you cannot able to go up and down but less makes some pagination for you still you can go up and down all right so just get out of this okay now again I'm going to my desktop so I'm using the home directory share desktop and the folder name which is the text all right so just clear this terminal and just show you the now we have we we have only just two file now here I'm going to make a file uh, first of all I need to just create a file so how I can create a file I can create a file uh, I'm just creating a file of cities okay I need to show you the uh, how we can use the vim of vim, vim text editor as well as the uh, unique and short command as well okay so I now I have only two file now I'm creating a file of cities so I just type the cities dot txt alright so I just created but nothing in this txt so how I can uh, uh, suppose I'm just showing you to this what cities has this content okay okay I just press nothing I the cities has nothing okay so cities has have nothing so I can use the vim editor and write some city's name okay vim is nothing but a text editor now this is the vim interface you can use the vim you can use vi you can use nano but in my cases i'm using the vim okay so after uh, coming in this vim editor this is the interface of vim first of all you need to type i i for insert mode now you can able to see i when i pressed i i got the insert mode now here i can type some kind of stuff like I'm, I'm I'm going to write the city's name I go city Karachi Karachi I'm going to say Lahore LHORE Lahore Islamabad uh, let's say Faisalabad uh, let's say um, Quetta and the last one will be the my favorite city where I belong to Aptabad alright so and now we have some kind of cities here so what I can do I can just save it this is the insert mode now I just need to get out of from insert mode how I can get out of in insert mode I need to save this and I need to quit so I cannot do directly first of all I need to put in into insert mode to write those stuff after the completion of those stuff I need to quit from the insert mode to skip is a button to uh, skipping from the insert mode now you can able to see I am not here in anymore in insert mode now I need to type control uh, I need to type shift plus colon okay now I need to type write and quit W for write to make it right and Q for quit that will save it okay I just press enter now again I type get cities now you are able to see that cities has some kind of content over there so right now I want to use two command which is um, uh, I first of all I need to show you a command which is the 
uh, unique command and now unique what does unique is just if you have two times Karachi it will only show one time it just make two string into the one string three string four string a thing uh, string a uh, word uh, anything is replicated it will show you only a once okay it will not show you twice as many time it will just convert it into one unique test okay so how I can use it I can use uniq unique and the file name cities or txt now here you can able to see that Karachi is not replicating again it's only showing one time only once okay now suppose I want to make it sortable like uh, I know the alphabetical wise after bar should goes on the top and the all the stuff goes on the sorting manner so how I can now use it I can use this sort command and the city's name and the file name okay so I just type cities or txt now you are able to see that all these stuffs are going to be um, sorted alright so I hope it makes sense to you now just clear the terminal now I just need to you show you the if you want to check the current time or uh, dead you just need to type the command which is the calendar okay if you use the cal command the calendar will show you if you use the time command date command it will show you the time and date and suppose you want to uh, you want to create a file which uh, can contain your uh, date so how can you do this you can use the cal command uh, cat command and after the cat command you can type uh, cal and you need to type to convert into the any file which I can say that the calendar file calendar.txt and just press enter okay what is saying the cat is not uh, alright so I think uh, I need to provide uh, right now I think it will be fine okay so now I just need to use the cal.txt so I'm getting this text over here alright so this is a way that I can um, use uh, some commands in my text and suppose I want to check my history what commands I have used I can type the history command as to re command and I just type the history still I still uh, tell there I'm using 1074 commands okay so history commands tell you the history so keep in your mind never ever use your password in your terminal someone is can stole your password if he or she can access to your terminal okay let's clear it all right so um, like we have uh, uh, like we have a date command I show you the date command so suppose I want to just convert my date command I need to type the date and convert into the any file which is I, I need to type here the date dot txt what it does it will take your date into the date txt file and uh, suppose I type here so I have the uh, date command date here so I just type the text now we are going to use uh, some another commands uh, the one of them the command which is we mostly use to replace a string in a in a file in a in a format in a, in, a, in, a, in contact so how we can replace a string into another string we need to use a command which is sed command so how we can use it so simply for that um, you need to that for a content that uh, that's going to be replaced it's similar like the microsoft word uh, find command and um, replace command uh, so let's do this so first of all you need to open a um, text file where you want to change your text so for my case uh, I have a file in my text directory which is the cities di so uh, I need to for that I need to change my directory to the uh, desktop and after desktop I need to provide this directory where I have my files so I came here and I type ls so here we have some kind of text directories so I'm going to just print this cities whatever it has so I just type tx cities or txt so we have kind of some kind of text here Karachi, Lahore, Islamabad, Faisalabad now suppose I just want to change this Faisalabad into Hyderabad in this text file how I can do this so it's quite simple I need to provide a cd command after a cd command we need to provide some quotes okay and um, must remember the quotes always comes into the pair so after that I need to provide the s for string after that I need to provide slash slash is used to what kind of a string we are going to replace so I'm going to replace Faisalabad 
all right tesla bal make sure the spelling would be correct and after this slash what kind of repl uh, what replace uh, what text i want to i'm go i'm going to bring here so i would say that i'm going to bring here like um, um let's say hyderabad all right so after that i need to provide a option which is which would be the slash g and slash g is means that it would be replaced globally i will show you another demonstration where is uh, uh, things are going to replace um, uh, globally one time two time all this stuff so after that i need to provide the file name which is, which which is the file name is like cities dot txt so when i press enter now you are able to see that the hyderabad is uh, the faisalabad is replaced by the by the hyderabad all right so now suppose uh, now here i just use this global method what if i have just want to text one time not uh, two time three time four time or globally so uh, for that i need to just show you another text which is the mm, i would say that um, index or txt all right so here i have this simply so simply comes i think it four times maybe i just want to change this simply first time but remaining rest of this three i do not want to change so how i can how i can do this so it's quite simple i just type to std command and the syntax will be quite similar to th this command like uh, simply would be change into simple uh simple but where we provide the control g but here we are going to provide the number i just want to change the first time so that's why i provide the first if i have changed two times i will type two I, if i want to change three times i will provide three so i just want to change in the first paragraph not in second not in third so i just provide the one and after that i need to just uh, close my print my braces uh, my quote and after that i need to provide my file name which would be the index dot txt press enter now you are able to see uh let me just show you so now yeah it's just changed into this simple all right so this was the way of changing this simple another command which is which tells me the what kind of operating system i'm using what kind of uh, release version i'm using so this is command which is uh, i would say that uh, lsb dash r e l e a c release minus a all right so this command is showing me that i am using currently 18.0 or for the release version of ubuntu and the code name is bionic i hope it makes sense to you now we are going to look at the another command which is the free command which tells me that uh, how much memory is free so i type the free so now i am here to see but still i'm i'm not able to see how much memory is used how much memory is free so i need to use a flag which is minus h so minus h flags means that it will convert into the human readable form so now i'm able to read here like uh, the memory is 1.2 is used 2.6 is free all right so after that uh, we need uh, we we can able to make some another command which are we used to compress some file so for that uh, suppose i need to uh, i'm here in like ls we have some kind of four files here i need to compress this file which is caps lock txt how i can compress this file so it's quite simple in linux world we need to just provide a command which is compress all right compress after we use the flag which is kind of dash v and the file name which would i would say that uh, caps dot txt so i press enter now i have seen this file is compressed i type ls so now you are able to see that the caps file is converted into the format like now it's a zip file and uh, suppose i just want to unzip this file how i can make unzip this file i can use the unzip uh uncompressed sorry not unzip uncompressed and the file name caps dot txt dot z press enter 
all right it's getting that the it's not getting a such file directory so i would say that uh, it would like uh, gzip okay just type the gzip gzip and the file name which going to be caps dot txt slash z right okay 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 i think i just made a little mistake i need to just provide the control z now press enter now now it's just changed I again type control s now you are able to see that the file is already converted into the previous form you need to make sure what kind of spell you it must be corrected so before i just press the control uh, uh, dot small z but it was the capital z all right so another way to make some file to make it zip so how we can use some zip format so for zip format suppose i want to convert this into the zip format so i use that zip gzip all right and the gzip after the gzip i just need to provide the file name which is the date dot txt all right for make sure that you need to use um flag which is which would be minus c all right all right space press enter now this file is converted into the zip format so i just need to i just use ls command for uh to, all right it's it's not converted yet so uh, we are going to again convert this to gzip file so gzip slash c into the text file or after the text file we just need to uh, uh, we just need to provide another source where we want to uh, make a file like the file is date and now I'm saying date zip file zip date uh, I would say that zip date dot zip zip now it will work really fine and again type ls now you are able to see that this date file is converted into zip date file uh, z uh, zip date file so if you want to convert any file into zip format you can do this by using this gzip minus c command and after that you need to provide the file name and after that you, you need to provide those file name which want to you show to convert it file and the dot zip format all right i hope it makes sense to you now suppose i want to make this file into the again uh, in the common file i want to unzip this file so how i can use i can find unzip <coughs> sorry yeah minus c minus c after that i need to provide this zip <coughs> date all right <coughs> after this zip date i need to provide the file name which would be the uh, updated zip I would say that update zip dot <coughs> I would say that txt all right uh, all right I am getting some kind of error so I can type this error all right if this file is converted no I'm not getting any error but it is converted into the unzip dot zip text format so that was the way of making the uh, uh, compressed and zip format so how another way of making the compressed for comprised format which is the tar so how we can use the tar format like um, i will go some directory back all right now here i'm type ls i have some kind of folder so let's just make this text folder into the uh, tar format so how we can i make this tar format i need to just type tar after that i will type cf the flag after that the uh, compressed file name i would say like archive uh, archive I think the spell is correct but it doesn't matter what the spelling you are going to use and after that you type you need to provide the tar okay tar is the extension of this folder name and after that what kind of folder you want to convert into tar I would say that text I press enter now I just type ls so I have a tar format as well of this alright so that was pretty much all about the compressed comprised formats which we discuss about the compressed we discuss about uh, compressed uncompressed zip unzip and the tar method all right so now we are going to look about the process so <coughs> like uh, to keep remember in your mind linux based work on the priority level 
there is two kind of priority level minus 20 and plus 20 the minus 20 priority would be the higher priority and the plus positive 20 would be the lowest pro uh, priority so if we want to check any kind of uh, process which are running into the background we need to type ps all right and uh, if we want to check all the process too, so we need to provide ps minus a so it will show me the all the processes which are going to running at that moment suppose i just want to go to cd now here i need to type the ps minus a all right so i just type here ps minus a all right i'm getting the same process so another thing is to watch the all the process we have a u x i just press enter so now you are able to see the all the processes with their priority level that that is the user okay what kind of user making this process this is the product uh, process id all right and this is the uh, how much memory it is taking how much cpu it is utilizing so these are the processes which are running behind all right so like uh, we have another thing like uh, to look at which is the ls lsp minus L al i just press okay all right i'm getting some error i think um, it would be the ps minus all all right all right all right we have already discovered ps minus all and i just provide enter so i'm getting the same stuff like this okay we can use like um, the previous command which were ps minus uh, aux and still we can use ps minus al for looking for all the processes go, uh, running behind all right so i hope it makes sense and uh, let's go further or uh, like uh, if you want to kill any process suppose i just open this uh, google browser all right or uh, this google browser is open and i just want to again this type this ps minus all first of all just minus ps minus all okay and here i need to just find the google chrome pro process id so i just uh, what process id uh, i if i want to uh, shut down this process i need to provide the kill and the process id which would which was i think um, let me just uh, figure out uid process id is the second uh, third type all right so i would say that um, if i take this process id and just copy it and just uh, sorry you need to just type right click copy right need to type kill and paste it here it will kill this process all right so this is how we can kill any process we need to provide the kill and after that we would need to provide the process id which is right here all right so i need to just clear this my terminal all right so uh the another command we have like um, jobs command suppose we have minus ls minus r command which is running 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 if i press control z it will send into the background if i close my terminal here right here all right if i reopen my terminal and again uh, i would type the command jobs all right no ls minus r for cd so, all right in here i type ls minus r so i control z it will goes on my background but my terminal is free i can make another command here for checking this whether it is gone in background i just need to type the jobs which uh, all right uh, i have some error so i need to type these small letters all right so that will show me that the one command command in using in background okay but still it's running so i need to just kill this command so how i can kill you i can use kill percentage minus one okay now it will just kill this command okay okay now you are able to see that when i perform this command kill my uh, percentage l it is terminated before it was stopped but it was running at the background of this terminal but now it is terminated all right so 
we have another command which is nice command which shows the priority so currently we have zero priority because we don't have any kind of uh, uh, we don't de we do not use pro prioritize any kind of process so nice command shows you the priority okay so again we have some kind of command which is reboot which reboot your system and uh, we have uh, some command like shutdown shutdown command if you press shutdown it will take one minute to shut down your pc if you say shutdown now it will currently shut down directly shut down your uh, uh, your laptop your pc whatever you are using i hope it makes sense to you now we are going to talk about the basic administrative tools uh, which we need to uh, mostly then in the host security and the network security suppose uh, we are using just a laptop just a pc in uh, in 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 our office so uh, i'm not a single person who is using this um, pc or a laptop it may might be have some more users okay so uh, that will comes to the host security means i cannot look watch to another user's account and he and they cannot watch in my account so it comes to the host security our host environment when we when our uh, we are connected into the network then it will comes to the network security for uh, like um, only the specific person can watch our uh, our, our directories our stuff uh, some privacy issues so it will come into the network security when it comes with the network environment all right so for that uh, we can make some kind of stuff like here so, so first of all I, I now i'm going to show you how we can create users and how we can uh, use uh, some groups and what is the difference between user and groups and uh, what is the uh, means of the file permissions so file permission is a big option in linux world so we need to know about the file permission what is the file file permission how uh, much we can give the permission someone else to the use, use of the file so let's get into it so first of all I need to go in my uh, root section so for that I can go to the two uh, two two ways for the first one is su search uh, switch region to the root all right but it will take a password for me but my in my case I will get I think at uh, uh, authentication fail because my root does not have any kind of password so I can use another way which is the sudo minus sorry uh, I need to just clear this one uh, all right uh, all right so here need to clear spell mistake all right sudo what the hell is going on okay all right all right so just need to clear this one again all right just hold on here sudo minus i all right so it will bring me to my root directory for before that i need to provide here my uh, my password all right so here you can provide your password all right enter now you are in root directory you have the privilege of the root directory you can do all this stuff our root users are super using can do so first of all we are going to make a user okay how we can make a user like Shurjil is also a user uh, how many persons are using this uh, uh, laptop they are users okay uh, now what is a group a, a member of users can be a group all right suppose we have a student group we have a teachers group we are working in an environment like a, in a university uh, the teachers group is quite different to the student group student group have some kind of um, uh, like say limitations and the teacher has also some kind of limitations so we uh, whenever a new student come to our university we just bring into the student group whenever a new faculty member came in our university we bring him or her into the uh, faculty or a teacher uh, group so all group has some kind okay all group have some kind of uh, uh, privileges some kind of um, what I say limitations so first of all near uh, suppose a new student come in our university and I just make it for uh, st a student group how I can use it so first of all I need to just make a user all right so for user for making a user I just type urs user and after that I just provide the s bin all right after that I just need to provide the a name which is the user add all right so after that I need to just provide a flag which is minus C and after that I just said that student students and here I just type uh, the username I would say that the Ali 
okay Ali Ali so sorry uh, not Muhammad Ali just Ali okay I just I have enter so I just made this user right now which is not assigned any group but I know the Ali belongs to the group of students so first of all I need to uh, create I have two ways first of all to creating uh, a group I can I didn't create any group so I, I use the group add okay but if I already created uh, any group I use the um, just me look, uh, I just need to use this uh, user mode okay which convert our which just bring our user into the specific group so first of all I'm just need to create a group uh, suppose you are doing first time you don't have any group so how you can uh, create a group I just said group G R O U P group add and here I just type a name which is students student I just press enter now I have a group of student which is as firstly created okay and um, what I can do I can just bring this Ali into this student group because in an in organization like we I, I already said you we have some kind of limitations okay Ali student has some limited limit some limitations and stu uh, teachers has also some limitations so it's a quite bit um, different scenario okay you not provide uh, you just bring a user into group and group has some limitation okay so um, uh, like um, I'm, I'm saying that uh, I'm just creating a file here which is the torch file no for before uh, creating a file I just bring Ali in this student group so how I can use this I can use user mod mod user mod is command which brings this Ali into this group minus G and after that this flag you need to provide the group name which is the student and the username which is Ali press enter now Ali comes in this student group okay so here I'm just creating a file which is the I don't know why this happening I just need to clear this terminal it is saying some time come on come on come on come on yes now it's fine now I'm creating a file which is the index dot uh, I would say that txt alright so I just type the ls minus ls so I have two file which is first one is file the other one is index index I recently created suppose I want to know what kind of file permission it index has mean the security purpose so before proceeding the file permissions I would like to show you something here which is that okay just let me show you here in my Google Chrome alright so there is three type of users okay the first one is the user and user uh, belongs to a group okay and the other means that uh, all over the person who are in the environment in your server and your specific environment it is also okay so let me just um, uh, use this for what kind of file permission this uh, file has some kind of permission so I'll just type ls minus uh, l okay and it's showing me that this in index file has some kind of limitation so what kind of limitation uh, the I just need to clear my terminal alright so okay I just type the ls minus l so now uh, the second option you are able to see this index so it is recently created so what does it mean that minus uh, dash r w dash r dash 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 r r so let me just uh, bring you here the first one is this user so who is the user the root is the user okay the root is created in this file it uh, min a dash means that it can not execute okay or um, uh, like uh, r means read w mean write and that the last one will be x so what will be x x will be execute this one is that that is the file or directory okay this dash means directory dash dash means is zero not able to do anything okay so now I just come here now I just now just uh, just bring here now you are able to see r mean the read the w mean the write permission the x mean this executable permission the dash mean this no permission but you keep in your mind not this dash with the start but afterward this dash is no uh, no permission but this, but this dash belongs to to our file or our directory I hope it makes sense to you so suppose I just want to change this user 
okay so how I can change this user I can type the ch change user like uh, I would say that um, mm, change user ch or wn change ch for change or wn mean user the username which I made Ali okay and uh, the other one is that the file name which is the index dot txt alright I just press enter and I just again type this command ls minus l now you are able to see that the user root uh, the user is changed into the Ali okay the, but the group is also a root root has some severe uh, if I want to just able to this group is only used by uh, uh, let's say a student group so I can provide the change group okay so first of all you need to understand what is mean okay RW means read write and execute but user cannot execute user has the ability to write and uh, and read okay but not execute what kind of capability the group is group only can write because R dash 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 means nothing okay no permission so second means that this one that the group only has the authority of reading okay the group cannot write anything not read uh, not execute anything and the other stuff also cannot only can write but not can read or uh, write or execute uh, this one is all over the person inside the server this is for the our specific group like I'm I'm belonging to the student group and this is for user or suppose I just want to change my uh, this group into the uh, le let's say student group so how I can use I can use change uh, ch I guess and the grp which stands for the group and the group name which is the student and the file name which is the index.tht press enter again I type ls minus l now the the user is Ali the group is a student okay Ali can read and write but uh, but uh, this is can uh, matlab, uh, this, m and this r dash dash means that the student group only can write okay so that was pretty much of the security purpose and next uh, upcoming lecture we are going to use the scripting and we are going to use how can we can change this mood like we here we can just uh, write okay and read uh, write but we cannot execute how we can make a file a user can execute something or a group can execute something so let's catch you in this now we are talking talk about the shell scripting because the shell scripting is been a very very important topic for a long time in Linux so what is shell St and so let me demonstrate you like I'm here typing the cal like here I'm typing the date so these are the individual commands I'm typing again and again and again and again what if I can collect this command into the file and I can just run this command and this all commands I can just run this file dot dat file and these all commands just run so I can make it by using the shell scripting so shell scripting is a quite uh, been a very uh, in get in topic in Linux world. So how we can use the shell scripting? So first of all, uh, I'm going to uh, make a file here. Like um, let's say that uh, first of all, I need to go to the desktop. Okay. So I am right now here in desktop. So what if I can do here? I can type ls to list out all the file, and here I can make a file which by using the touch command and the file would be like uh, my script okay so let so my script dot sh so here I created a file which is my script here so what I can do here I can how c I can write a shell for this I have a editor like I can type here like um, let's say um, uh, I have suppose I have uh, like uh, vi editor okay I have uh, Vim editor, I have nano, whatever. But in my case, I'm using the Vim editor and the file name, which is the my uh, shell, uh, which which would be the uh, my file name. Okay. So for that, I'm just using the my script, s e r i p t script dot s h. Okay. 
just press enter now here I'm this uh, kind of editor which is Vim editor which is quite similar uh, quite famous in the Linux world so first of all I not directly write anything here first of all I need to press I which uh, bring me to the insert mode if you look closely here whenever I press I it will come into the insert mode so right now I can use all over the commands which I need to show I have I, I, I can have pretty much of how many commands I want suppose uh, I need to type my username on my screen so I use echo and after that echo I can say hi there it's me it's Shergil it's whatever the username so how I can use the username for username uh, we have a command like uh, who am I who am I shows you the username okay in uh, in journal okay so I just typing echo echo is used to just print and hi there it's the uh, like let's say uh, percentage uh, no, sorry dollar sign dollar sign is just uh, used as a variable otherwise it will show the um, because of arrow string but percentage it's mean there's a specific command okay so here I type who M I okay just close this braces alright so just press enter here I can use some another commands like cal okay if I want to separate one command to another command I can simply use uh, this is uh, like um, uh, what I said it's uh, semicolon semicolon just separate one command to another command the date command okay so date it uh, the cal is first of all uh, this command will be executed after that dead command will be executed after it this dead command uh, cal command and dead command will be executed so, all right Sim so I just keeping this as simple as I can I can do pretty much all the thing uh, by using the shell scripting uh, it's widely used in ethical hacking is widely used uh, in so many things so I'm just showing you the basics okay so for suppose I just completed this commands here so what I can do I can just press shift plus uh, and colon okay well, first of all I need to just skip back to this insert mode how I can insert uh, escape back so I just easily type skip now I'm skip back now I type shift plus this colon okay now I type W for right Q for quit plus enter now I just want to see what is in this um, my script so I just type cat and my script file which is my in desktop so I can see here there is inside the content here suppose I just want to execute this command okay so how I can execute so for that I need to use this dot operator which is shows this I am search in my present working directory and after that the my file name which would be the script cript script dot sh okay I press enter but I got some permission denied error so as I told you we can use sudo but sudo not work here why if I use sudo let me just show you again but sudo will not run here okay why let me just tell you one thing first of all let me just demonstrate you still I'm going to my put my password but not working so if we check the command line if you choose the file permission ls minus l for use for command permissions okay so this is our shell scripting file and it has some kind of the user has uh, only created uh, the uh, read and write but not execute x is invisible okay so how we can just change this mode okay here we can change the file permissions okay I just want to make user to execute this file as well because it's a shell file and shell file will be execute so for that we have a couple of methods but the most simple method I would like to use to search about this hmod calculator okay and it will just uh, show you that uh, how you can change the uh, file permission suppose Shurjil is an owner of this group so I would ch I check Shurjil can write, Shurjil can uh, read, write and execute okay but uh, the group will only can read and uh, not not execute and the public in also can only read so this is 744 which is the owner has all limitation all, all accessibility but re remaining group and public only can re read but not write okay not execute so I just copy this here this is a calculator which is quite beneficial and here I just typing the h mode and 744 
I guess I think it is 744 yeah it's fine and the file name uh, what is my file name so my file name is my script okay S C R I P T script dot S H I just press enter and now if I execute this file here my script S R I P T script dot S H press enter okay I got some errors so why I'm getting some error um, let me just uh, okay 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 all right okay so uh, I there is no such kind of space okay I just press enter all right so I uh, I'm getting some error so what kind of error I'm getting here okay I think I made some kind of mistakes in my file so let's just um, again open this file vim my script 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 dot sh okay 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 so I think uh, I don't I cannot use this uh, operator here because uh, it's it give me some error okay so for that I just need the insert mode as well I for insert mode and backspace yeah now just I need to escape here I need to just save it right and quit okay alright so now I just need to execute this file now you are able to see that the hi this is Shurjil and this is my 20 and that whatever I have executed this all command for execution we need to change the edge mode of user as well okay so friend it was pretty much of it about Linux command uh, Linux is not the, it's a shorter command I just told you those command which are quite you must know if you are a beginner if you are getting advanced uh, it is a command which are widely used okay so I hope uh, it will help you to increase your Linux knowledge and uh, after that I will I would say you if you are a great you know, if you if you want to gain some more knowledge you can also use uh, some kind of shell scripting or um, all those stuff so if you have any kind of suggestion so please let me know in your comments in my in my comment box or if you have any kind of queries if a concept does uh, a concept does not uh, understand you pretty much so please let me know in comment box I will I would be answer you here there and if you want some kind of mobile application development some web application development to learn javascript i have a pretty much course it in my ch this programming channel i will uh, i would say please go there and watch videos if you are interested and um, i would now it's time to say goodbye uh, may allah bless you may allah keep you happy so take care of yourself take care of your family stay blessed always bye